day to you boys and girls. We're on location. We're going to be taking out a Tamarack with a MS-461. This saw has been insanoized. This saw actually has the SS version of the insanoization kit, which means it's um, supersized. So we modified the combustion chamber by reshaping it. And we also performed some flow enhancement tricks, which help the whole process. These saws, when you do all that work to them, really flat get with it. Um, we're kind of still running pretty dark screens, which you'd expect that considering we're still trying to break it in. I'm thankful for Mr. Sorvelli over in New York to let me uh, test drive the saw a little bit. We're going to take out this tamarack lever long because it's small enough, and then we're going to step back here and grab a pine. Let us see how this works out. Oh, we have a full skip Oregon chain fresh out of the box. I can't say that I'm super impressed at this point. First grind on the chain. Um, they usually take about four before they come around. I think I actually prefer full comp chain with this particular wood. Um, we're about 4,000 feet in elevation at the moment. So here we go.
can see that the saw itself is a bad Jose little machine. I can't believe how good they run when you reshape the combustion chamber in addition to adding the flow enhancement tricks. There are, I should say 481 on there is what it should say. That would be courteous of my uh, buddy Mr. Mitzkas. Um, he has one similar to this one. But anyway, I'm well pleased at how the saw runs. Can't say so much about my bucking technique. I am only human. <laughs> anyway, have a blessed day wherever you might be on God's green earth.